compress, motor and gearbox, inlet, the screw down there, the screen will squeeze out the juice, and a discharge door, that brass thing, the more air pressure we give it, the tighter it squeezes. We've also got a boiler hooked up here, we're going to do some steam injection, as to these hoses right here, some things work better if the steam is injected. Here's a shredder motor and the rotor is in there. We need a tall inlet hopper because this one shoots stuff out about as fast as you put it in. What we're going to run, uh, first thing we're going to run today is kelp sent to us from um, Iceland. And we don't have a whole lot here, but we'll give that a try. We also have vanilla beans. We also have shrimp waste. We're going to recover oil from that. We have here from um, Nicaragua, this is cassava. And we'll try to dewater that. And then one we won't run today, high torque application. This is sponge metal in a bath of water, peculiar stuff, swarf is a technical term for it. Now a lot of tests are piled up for us. Sponge rubber is on the way. That'll be run uh, with the swarf, being that they're both high torque applications. This is our uh, shredder. Looking in this inland hopper, that's a comb down there. Rotating blades going between stationary blades or teeth comb type action. This is susceptible to damage by rocks, uh, but we'll see how it works. Put a leaf in there. started feeding some stuff in. It's already starting to come out here, so I'm now going to run that discharge cone to the end. I put it low air pressure, just one bar of air pressure. I don't have any juice coming out so far. In my fist, I could squeeze a, a little stream of water out, so I expected some water to come out. I could start down at this end as we fill the press. We're starting to get a little action here. We're filling the press, not getting any real liquid out, and the discharge cone is not opening despite the low air pressure. You see some liquid dripping out. That's uh, typical because the first material through the press has not really been squeezed, it's just been conveyed. Uh, there you see press cake starting to come out. So at least the stuff is flowing on its own accord, we haven't jammed in the press yet. But the liquid I'm getting out looks like aloe vera. Um, there's definitely a foaming problem here. Okay, the material has become stuck inside the press. It's co-rotating with the screw. It's not progressing out. Uh, we are afraid of this. We turned the press off and ran it backwards for three revolutions of the screw. You can see the shaft turning there. Then we started forward again. A lot of times that will clear a jam. It didn't work. To make this stuff move through a press, we would need a twin screw press. Uh, the smallest one we have is a twin six. This is a four inch press. So you can imagine it's got uh, oh, six to 10 times the capacity of this one more we couldn't start to fill a, a twin screw press. Um, anyway, so, uh, you know, auto-reversing does not work. We need twin screws. We'll keep trying. We're just emptying the press now. Uh, we're going to try grinding this material 
recliner and uh, see if that uh, makes it work any better. I don't expect it to. We've now shredded this uh, finer and uh, we'll give it another try uh, just in case. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious if this feeds any better. You know, it's ground finer. Okay, this is the some of the original material. And I'll uh, run that cone in right now. And see what happens. <laughs> screen, very low capacity. It seems to be channeling a little bit. It's coming out. Rotating cone at help. Um, well, this is the action now. Again, it's mostly a foam. This looks like aloe vera. I'll have to read up on what we did to make aloe vera work. Turned on the steam, and we'll see what happens now. Okay, go ahead and turn the screw on. Okay, screw is turning. Well, that's interesting. I'll just say if we're what we're doing. the cone set in a manually adjusted open position by about an inch. That's what happens when you add steam. It might have some potential. I have to run a bigger sample. This is some of our shredded material. Uh, isopropyl alcohol. We're going to wash it with alcohol. Next, we'll squeeze out the alcohol, and then we'll see what we get. Push it in a ball and squeeze the alcohol out. Actually, we washed it with alcohol twice, simulating a, a counterflow wash system. cake from this and run it through the oven. Still slimy? Yeah. It was slimy when we, everything's been slimy today. Anyway, we'll, we'll run it through the oven and see what the moisture does. Before we wind up this video, this is uh, a pilot plant and uh, you see screw presses. There's another shredder, uh, but we have got 200 screw presses in the rental fleet. These are just the ones that uh, aren't out in active service. Um, screw department down there. Anyway, that's the Vincent factory. Assemblies down further away. Screen manufacturing further away. Machine shop down at the other end.